Right, so hopefully something should be coming up on the screen very soon. If the first slide comes up, please. Is it coming? Is it coming? Thanks, Samuel. Who is excited about that? Me. Aaron, you're excited. How many days is it now do you get off school? I was trying to count it up last night. About 13, 14, a couple of weeks. Why are you so excited about summer? Dylan? Because I'm going on holiday. Mm, you're going on holiday? Where are you going? To Disneyland in July. Disneyland in July? That's very, very exciting. Arm? I'm going to Thomas Land on May 2. Ooh, very, very good. Anyone else going away anywhere nice? Where are you going? Don't forget. That sounds a lot of fun as well. Caleb? You can't stick school anymore. <laughs> can't stick it. I tell you what, see whenever you get to university and you finish at the end of May and then you get the whole of June free, it's brilliant. Ross, Ross, Reese and Poppy, where are you going? Going to America. Very, very nice. Right, well I'm sure anyone who's going away on holiday is really, really excited about going. But one of the things that you've got to do before you go on holiday is pack up your suitcase, okay? Now in my suitcase I have got five different things that I think are really, really important for going on a holiday, okay? So let me see. If you flick on to the next slide, Samuel, thank you. Right, let me see, where are we? What's this stuff? Sun cream. This is Ambre Solaire Factor 15. Okay? And Factor 15, it'll sort of cover you up, but it's not really the best stuff. So why would someone put sun cream on themselves? Really easy question. Why would you put sun cream on? You can't get your skin burnt. Has anybody ever seen someone that's got sunburnt? Isn't it very, very funny? isn't it? And they're usually the people that say, oh, there's never any sun in this country, it's always raining. And then they get a wee bit of sun and you see them, they've the face roasted, they're walking about like this here, and it's all because they didn't put on any sun cream, right? Now I reckon that you've had to listen, you've had to listen to Stephen McConnell all year, haven't you? Very boring. I hope that wasn't you said that, Matthew. Right, so I reckon we're going to get Stephen ready for a summer holiday. So come on up, Stephen. <laughs> Just you sit yourself down there. It'll be like the hairdressers. I don't know how often you go, but I think good here, take a wee seat. <laughs> right, now who would like to get Stephen ready for his holiday? I'll just completely at random, Matthew and Vicky. Come on up. <laughs> That's completely random, completely random, come on up. All right, let's see. Now, I checked this bottle last night, it's pretty much full, so I don't have any, any worries. Do you want to put out your hand, Vicky? How much do you want? I think, has he annoyed you lately? No. No? All right, there's a wee bit for you. You go and start, start in the face, get them cheeks. You want a lot, don't you? Yeah. Two hands, right. Right, Matthew, I'd let you work on that head, right? <laughs> Try any more. <laughs> what, what do you think, boys and girls? Do you look well? <laughs> it needs more. It does not need any more. What do you think? I think that's enough. I'm not putting any more on. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just, I've got a cap for him too, just in case. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you're, like, you're making me laugh, don't you? Do you think he looks well? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take him seriously at all. Right, Stephen, I let, I let you sit down. So I, I couldn't keep a straight face any longer.
If anybody, anybody wants a free cap, I don't want it again, but there you are. Right, so Stephen, it was really important that before Stephen went away, that he had himself protected against the danger of the sun. Now, do you remember I said that some people get sunburnt because they don't think there's any danger? They think, oh, it's never sunny in this country. Well, sometimes it's a little bit like that with sin. We can't see sin all the time, and we think it's not really that important, or it's not really that dangerous. Now, I'm sure you've been taught all year that sin is when we disobey God, when we do bad things. And sometimes we think, who cares? You know, who cares if I maybe say a wee bad word? Sure, nobody heard it. Or maybe you think, who cares if I steal a couple of sweets? Nobody saw it, it doesn't really matter. But do you want to know why sin is so dangerous? Because it separates us from God. You know, maybe you're here and you don't see why sin is so important. It's important because it separates us from God and it means that we can't have a friendship with Him. So could I ask someone to come up and just hold this sun cream and it'll remind us, Dylan, come on up. If you want to you go in there and that'll remind us of how important it is that we realize the dangers of sin. Right, so I've got my sun cream, but something else that I need, and this is really, really important because you can't even get out of the airport without this. You'll go down to the airport and it'll be the first thing you're asked for. Who knows what it is? Alex, passport, right? Now I've got my passport here with me. What do you think? What are you laughing at, Vicky? Do you like it? Now that was me in July 2008. How long was that? No sweets for you, right? So that's five years ago, right? Do you want to see a couple of funnier passport pictures? Right, here's two ladies. They're a wee bit now. Who knows them two? There are a couple of droll articles. Aren't, who's them two? Andrew, do you know the one on the right? Do you know her? You don't know. You don't want to own up. Right, well, there's two women that are definitely ready to go on their holidays because they've had their passport pictures taken. Now, my mommy told me not to do that, right? <laughs> she warned me, okay? So what about, what about anybody else? We'll see if we we'll recognize any of these ones. If you just click them through, Samuel, thank you. Who recognizes this boy? <laughs> Who's that? Poppy, you're laughing. That must be your daddy, is it? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> this one sitting in the front row? No. What about that one? Faith, do you know her? Who's that? Your mommy. You sure? Doesn't look like her. What about that? That was the one that I laughed at the most. So we've got four people there. We've got Eddie, Caroline, Laura, and Stephen, and they're all ready to go on holidays because they've had their passport photos taken. Okay, so if you just click through, thank you. Sometimes, right, people go to the airport and they've got all their bags packed and they realize when they get there, I forgot the passport. And it doesn't matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter how many things they have packed in their bag. If they don't have this, they can't go on holiday. And it's kind of the same with God. You know, none of us can just walk up to God and say, I would like to go to heaven. Could you let me in, please? Because it doesn't work like that. Whenever the passport reminds us that we can't get into heaven by ourselves. So who wants to hold this one up? Good man, Robin. Come on up. You stand in there beside Dylan. Hold that up so people can see it. Right, so we've got our sun cream. We've got our passport. Let me see now. This is very, very important. Very, very important. Anybody guess? You can, get, you can get to your holiday with just your passport. Whenever you get there, you might need some of this. Maybe if you need food or presents or... Vicky? You need sweets for the plane. Yeah. <laughs> You're not listening to me. So what would I need if I needed to buy some food when I got there? Really easy. What? Money, and your eyes just lit up as you said it. So I have, look at me, a wad of notes here, right? So let me see, I have got 
I've got a five pound, where could I use that? I could use that here. Let, here I've got some euros, if I was maybe going to Spain or Italy or somewhere else in Europe. I've got some dollars, Poppy and Reese, that's what you'll need whenever you're going off this summer. Anybody going to Ukraine this summer? Nobody going to Ukraine? Okay, I'll do you a good rate, no? <laughs> Nobody going to Ukraine? Well, this is some Ukrainian money, okay? So it's really, really important that whenever you're going on holiday, that you have the right money for the country that you're going to, okay? So if I went to Spain and I wanted to bring, let's see, who would I, who would I want to bring a present back for? Not you, Caleb, definitely not. <laughs> Let's say I'll bring you all back a present, right? And I go and I see the perfect present and I give them a five pound note. Do you think they would take it? They would look at me and think, euros please, we need euros. They wouldn't take it because you need to have the right money. And sometimes people think, do you know what? If I'm just really, really good, I'll get into heaven. If I just do more good things than bad things, then God will have to accept me. Is that how it is? No. Because there's actually lots of people in this world, that's what they think. They think if I do one good thing every single day, sooner or later God is going to let me into heaven. But that's just like having the wrong currency whenever you go to visit a country. God will not accept you because of your sin, because of the sin that every single one of us has. It's like going up to Spain and saying, here's a fiver. It's exactly the same as going to God and saying, accept me because he won't, because we're separated from him because of our sins. So who would I trust to hold this money? Now bear in mind, I've counted it. Right, Ellie, I think I can maybe just... Right, now I want everybody to watch Ellie. Make sure she doesn't slip any of that into her pocket, okay? Right, so we've got our sun cream, We've got our passport and we've got our money. Now here's something that dads don't really like to bring with them on holiday. Who knows what it is? What's this? Why, why would dads not like to bring one of these? Poppy. Because they might have to read it. Do you know why they don't take it? Because they think they know where they're going. They think. Oh, if I just drive long enough, or if I ask somebody, I'll eventually work it out. And do you know what? Sometimes, sometimes they don't. And sometimes they actually get lost, and they haven't a clue where they're going. But something that's been brought out quite recently, which is even better, is one of these. Who has one of these, or has seen one of these? What is it, Joshua? A sat-nav. So all I need to do is type in London, and then type in a street put it in the car, and then all I have to do is follow it to there. Or I could put in a castle. I might just put that in, castle, see if it gets me there, okay? So you've got your map and you've got your sat-nav so that you know where you're going. Do you wanna know something really, really cool? Every single one of us can know exactly where we're going when we die. We don't have to say, oh, I really hope I get into heaven. I've got my fingers crossed. I hope God accepts me we can know exactly where we're going. And the reason we can know is because of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came into this world, lived a perfect life, went to the cross, died on the cross, and took the punishment that actually I deserve. I deserve to be on that cross, but he took that punishment so that none of us would have to. And so if we come to him and we confess our sins, we say, Jesus, I'm really sorry for the wrong things that I have done we can go to heaven one day to be with him. And just like the sat-nav, and just like the map, we can know exactly where we're going. So who has two big strong hands to hold these? I never forgot. I'm gonna need another girl. Right, Alex, come on. You look like you wanted to be up the most. Right, so we've got four things. How many did I say I was gonna have? Five, what time is it? Very nearly half 12, so we're not doing too badly. Now this is something that is really, really important when you come home from holiday. And it's sometimes it's the first thing your mom or your dad might think about whenever you get home from the holiday. Caleb? Nope, hopefully they have everyone. 
What are these? Who knows what these are? Joshua. Tea bags, right? As soon as you're in through the door, my mom or my dad will say, who wants tea? And they'll go and they'll lift the kettle and put it under the sink, and that's the first thing they'll do. Do you know what they say? You can't get a good cup of whenever you're abroad. It doesn't taste nice. Now the water's not good. And they come home and they get their nice cup, because it's always, apparently it's always different in your own mug, supposedly, right? So they'll come home and they'll get their tea, all right? And have you ever noticed, maybe your mummy, maybe she's talking to someone else's mummy, and she comes home from holiday and she has to tell her absolutely every single detail about the holiday. Have you ever seen it? When two mummies get together, how was the pool? How was the flight? Oh, did you get any nice walks in the evening? And do you know what men are like? What was the grub like? <laughs> um, and what was the weather like? Oh, it was a bit close for a couple of days. And you know what? It even rained. <laughs> Pay money to go halfway across the world and it rains. If it won't rain, we'll stay at home. <laughs> so you've got women. Women, they talk, talk, talk about every single detail and then men, oh, it rained. All right? So that reminds me that when something really cool happens in your life, you want to tell other people about it. So maybe it's something really big. Maybe you got into the class in high school that you really wanted to get into for some of you later on. Or maybe you got a new toy. Or maybe something really cool happened to your friend. You want to tell everybody. And it's the same when you become a Christian. If you're a Christian, so if you have asked Jesus to be your savior, he tells you actually to go and tell other people. And it's the same for us as adults as well. You know, sometimes as adults, we're not very good at telling other people about Jesus. Sometimes we kind of feel a bit embarrassed. But Jesus says, look at everything I have done for you. Go and tell everyone in this world about me. Okay? So I'm going to test your memory. See if you've remembered. What does the sun cream remind us of? Oh, this is good. Sin, good man. What does the passport remind us of? It reminds us that we can't just get into somewhere. Probably. Can't just get into heaven. Right, we've got all our money. That reminds us that actually it doesn't matter how many good things we do. It's just like having the wrong currency. We've got our map and our sat-nav. That reminds us we can know exactly where we're going if we put our trust in Jesus. And we've got our good old tea. Good old tea bags. It reminds us that when something big happens in our life, we have to tell other people. We have to let them know about how special Jesus is to us. So thank you very much to you four. I'm going to take this into you. Is all my money there? Yeah? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Good man. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to close in song.